Good morning YouTube family, how are we doing today? In today's video, we're gonna be going inside of a brand new construction townhome located here in Davenport, Florida. Now, as you guys know, Davenport, Florida is one of the fastest growing cities here in Central Florida. And for a while now, it's been a little difficult to find something at an affordable price. So today we're gonna be taking a look at these brand new, beautiful townhomes that are under $300,000. So if you guys are interested in something like this, make sure to stay till the end of the video and let's go take a look, come on. Here we are in front of this beautiful townhome. Now this is actually a townhome that is currently available. This townhome was under contract to be sold in closing this week, but what happened is, and this happens every once in a while in the game of real estate, is a contract falls through. Maybe the financing fell through, maybe the buyers got cold feet, but it happens. And um, so now we have this property available and we're actually gonna be taking a look at it today. So this property is gonna come with three bed, two and a half bath, 1,421 square feet. It's gonna come with two stories and a one car garage. Now for anybody who might be out of state, who doesn't live here in Central Florida, or maybe you're down South and don't know much about Davin Davenport, Florida. In the past three to four years, Davenport has been growing exponentially. One, because we're very close to Disney, and two, we're very close to the beaches. Also, downtown Orlando isn't very far away. It's only about 35 minutes away. Tampa is one hour away. Disney and the parks and attractions are gonna be literally 25 to 30 minutes away. And then Cocoa Beach, which is probably gonna be, well, which is the co closest beach to this community, is gonna be around 45 to 55 minutes. So it's located very well. The main reason why Davenport grew so much is because of how many Airbnb investors came into the city. So. Here we are in Davenport, Florida, one of the fastest growing communities, but here it's also turned into an amazing place to live. You know, we have everything very close by. If you head even more south, you'll find cities like Haines City, Lake Wales, which is a growing city as well. And then you can also just keep going down that road and find yourself all the way in Miami in about two and a half to three hours. So you really have everything close by. I mean, there's a lot of new development happening out here. So the reason why we're here today is because this is one of the most affordable communities in Davenport, Florida in today's day. Now to give you a little bit more point of reference on what's super close by to this community, the hospital is located three minutes away. So it's a three minute drive to the hospital. We are three minutes away from Publix and Walmart. You're also gonna have a bunch of other restaurants like 2J's, Longhorn, all these restaurants. You're also gonna have Chick-fil-A, Chipotle. They just put a brand new shopping center right next to the I-4 entrance. So if you get on I-4, that's what's gonna take you all the way to downtown Orlando. Or if you head west, you're actually gonna be heading over to Tampa, Florida. Now let's say you get on I-4 and start heading east. You're gonna hit, um, you're gonna drive past Champions Gate, you're gonna drive past Dr. Phillips, the parks and attractions, you're gonna drive past downtown Orlando, and then you'll head up to Sanford, and then you'll start heading over to Daytona Beach and that side of town. If you head west, you'll start hitting Auburndale, and then you'll start hitting other smaller cities that aren't that developed yet, but then you hit Tampa, and essentially you can also get over to Clearwater Beach. Now, getting back to Davenport, Florida, in that shopping center, you're gonna have Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, um, if our bell is outlet, there's so many things going on. I can't remember off the top of my head, all of them, but you got a lot going on and we're gonna show, include some drone footage just so you can see exactly what we have going on here in Davenport, Florida. So here we are also right around the corner from Christmas and usually in the winter time, it's supposed to be 50, 40, 50, 60 degrees. Here in Florida, especially in right here in Davenport, Florida, we're at 68 degrees with a five mile per hour breeze. So the weather here in Florida might be the biggest thing about, probably one of the best things about living here is even in the winter from I'd say November all the way till April, we're gonna have this type of weather, 60s, 70s, doesn't really get over the 80s. If it does, it's very rare. So once we hit June is when we start getting the tropical climate coming back. But yeah, the climate's been amazing here, guys. Um, especially this winter, it's been phenomenal. 
So at the end of this tour, I'm also gonna be giving you guys all the information you need to know about this community. I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging on anything. So you're gonna know the price, the HOA, the tax amount, the closing cost incentives, how much it's gonna cost to buy this home with the FHA down payment or with the conventional. If you're looking at it as an investment standpoint, I'll get into those details as well. So make sure to stay till the end of the video where I'll be giving you all the details about the pricing and the finances of this home. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this tour. But before we step inside, just wanna invite you to subscribe to my channel if you guys have been enjoying any of my content. Um, so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get inside and see what we got here. Come on. So here we are in front of the property, ladies and gentlemen, and we're gonna be taking a look at this beautiful townhome. So before we step inside, I just want you guys to see the neighbors and what's around this specific house. So we're just gonna have a street um, with a bunch of townhomes. They have about, on each building, they build six townhomes. So after that, you're gonna have a separate other building about 15 feet away from that one, actually 15 to 20 feet away from that one. So the end units typically do tend to cost more for townhomes, um, but at the end of the video, I'll, I'll get into the pricing and the availability on those. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get inside. This specific home has this nice exterior, kind of like light greenish paint. Um, all the homes do come with the landscaping and the landscaping is a part of the HOA. So they're gonna be maintaining your lawn for you. They're gonna be maintaining the shrubs. They're gonna be cutting the, the trees a little bit and you know, all that. So with that being said, let's get inside. Um, here we're gonna have a little patio space so you could get this screened in as well. Um, put a nice chair here, relax a little bit. And yeah, so come on in. On the right hand side, we do have the stairs to go upstairs, but before that, we'll start right over here and we're gonna step into the garage. So the garage is gonna be on this left hand side. And yeah, so it's a very typical one car garage. You have higher ceilings and here's the electrical panel. The water heater is right over here. And yeah, so this is the one car garage. Now let's get into the fun part of the house. So here we are stepping into the main living area. It's gonna be on the first floor here. Um, so you're gonna have a nice space for your living, room, your living room, and then you can have your dining room or breakfast nook right over here. And then here we are inside of the kitchen. This is gonna come with granite countertop. Here's your dishwasher, stove, and microwave. These are all gonna be Samsung appliances. Now, I actually bought this exact not this exact same model of townhome but in orlando florida they had bay lake preserve uh, starlight homes the same builder they're building homes in orlando florida mine was slightly a little bigger but it was around it's right now they're selling for around three hundred sixty thousand. so i you know me personally living in these townhomes it, it's been a fantastic time the builder's always on point so this builder you know the t the community in orlando with the similar townhomes they really caught my attention and they did a great job so um here we are so the only thing that doesn't come with this townhome is the is going to be the refrigerator and the washer and dryer okay so there is going to be a lot of natural light coming into this space over here we're going to have two pretty large windows. They're facing the west side of, you know, they're facing west. But so when the, you can actually see the sunset when it's going down. Now it all depends on where your townhome is gonna be located. But on this specific one, we're looking west. Um, and yeah, so it's nice that we don't have anyone behind us. You just got a few orange trees, which is really nice. When it's in season, you can actually just go out back and pick your oranges, which is really nice. So. With that being said, we got some white cabinets. We got our double sink over here. And then this is gonna be our pantry space right here. So we got a, not the biggest, but not the smallest. You know, you got a decent pantry space over here. And then right here, we have our first half bathroom. So we got our toilet and sink. And yeah, this is pretty much it. We got a nice half bathroom on the first floor. So if you have family over, you're hanging out, you got friends over, it's Christmas dinner, New Year's Eve. Um, 
you guys, we have a half bathroom downstairs for all the guests. Now let's go ahead and hit the second floor. So here we are stepping on into the second story. Now we're gonna head straight into the master bedroom. So here we are in the master bedroom. We're gonna have these nice big double windows. This is a really big master. I don't have the exact dimensions on it, um, but you could easily fit, you know, a master. You can easily fit a king size bed in here, have all your cabinets and, and everything. So this is actually a really good size master. Um, and yeah, so let's step into the master bathroom over here. You are gonna come with four mica. It's not gonna be the same granite you see in the kitchen. You got your cabinet space down below. And then in here, we are gonna have our closet space. So this is something really nice um, that we have in this master is you got a nice size closet as well. So this is a really good closet space and yeah. So now over here, let's take a look. We have the tub shower. So you got your little compartments over here. You got this backsplash area. Um, and yeah, so I'm actually gonna do another video of the community that I live in in Orlando and I want you guys to see the difference. There are very minimal things on the difference in the townhomes, but this one is really nice. It has its certain things about it. Um, here's gonna be where the washer and dryer go. So this is your laundry room. You do have a nice compartment right over here above. So put all your um, washing materials and all that Tide Pods, whatever it is. Here you're gonna have your air conditioning system. Here's a nice little linen closet, so extra storage space. So here we are stepping into the two bedrooms here. So this is gonna be the first bedroom that we have. Um, so this is a really good size, looks about 10 by 10 feet. You're gonna have one closet space right over here. And you're gonna have one window looking over the front of the property. Um, so yeah, nice little space here. In Orlando, my specific townhome, I have two roommates. And at the current rate, rental rates are paying about $1,000 per room. Um, so I don't know, in Davenport here, you're probably looking a little below that, maybe around 800, 850. But these are still really great rentals if you're looking to rent out each room uh, individually. So stepping into the next bedroom, it's the same exact thing, same size. This closet space is a little bit bigger. Um, and yeah, you also have that window looking over the front of the house, of the townhome. So yeah, you got a nice little closet space. This one's a little longer. Um, and yeah, and then over here, we're gonna have the bathroom that is gonna be shared between the two roommates or the two people who are spent, you know, using these two bedrooms. Um, and yeah, so you're gonna have the same four mica you have in the master. You're gonna have one sink, three cabinet spaces down below, your toilet, and the same bathtub with the shower. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's go ahead, get back downstairs and take a look at the backyard. So here we are stepping into the back patio space. So they do have this slab of concrete here. So you're gonna have this nice little back patio space. Um, you can put a fence to absolutely um, practically close in your property. So you actually do come with a little piece of land. So your property line is gonna be right over here. So where you see this yellow stick right over here, you're gonna have, this is gonna be your property line. So the, at this yellow stick mark, so your fence is probably gonna go up right around here. And yeah, you can close in your property. So that's something super unique and why this is a great property or a great townhome is because typically with townhomes, you don't get any space in the back. You might have a little bit of space in the front and that's it. Um, so this is something neat. You do have a backyard, which is something, um, me personally, is something that you don't see every day with a townhome. Um, here you're gonna have your air conditioning unit, carrier, they've been phenomenal. And yeah, so that is it. So let's get back inside and now let's talk over the numbers and give you all the finances you need to know about this property. Let's go. So here we are at the end of the tour, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's get into the finances of it. So I'm gonna be telling you guys a lot of things that I believe most YouTubers and realtors 
don't want to tell you, but I'm here to be transparent with you guys and give you all the information you need to know. So here we are, the price on this home is gonna be starting at $284,000. Now they have a bunch of more inventory, they're building homes currently, they have some that are gonna be ready in March, April, May, June, but this specific one is ready right now. Um, so this one's going for 284, the other ones are selling around 286, 290, if you want an end unit, I believe it's around 290,000. With that being said, the HOA is gonna be $165 per month. So you got a nice low HOA, that's gonna come with your lawn maintenance. So they're gonna maintain the landscaping of your property, all the trees in the front and the backyard as well. Also, you're gonna have a pool. You're gonna have a community pool that's closed in. You're gonna have a, a playground. So if you wanna take your kids, you know they can have fun while you're at the pool. And then you also have a dog park, which is super neat about this community. You don't see that every day that in a townhome community, you actually have a dog park. So it's something su super cool and super convenient as well. So with that being said, now let's get into the taxes. The taxes are gonna be 1.2% of the price of the property. So let's get out the famous calculator. It's gonna be around $3,408 per year. Now that is before you do your homestead. So if you're an investor, no need to pay attention to this, but actually if you're looking to move to Florida and use it as a primary residence, then you can qualify for something that is called homestead. So if you live here in Florida for one year, you become a resident, this is your primary residence, you can apply for homestead, which can deduct up to $50,000 off the taxable value of your home. So instead of paying taxes on a $284,000 home, you can pay taxes on a $233,000 home, and that takes your tax amount to 2,796, so you're saving a few hundred dollars there just by applying for Homestead. Now, let's say you guys are interested in buying one of these homes, you don't, but you don't really know what you need to do to get there. The first thing is, you know, getting pre-approved with the lender. Now, if you guys don't have a specific lender you work with, I have one here in Orlando that does an absolutely amazing job and is closing deals left and right to get and with the best interest rates in the market at the moment. But with this specific community, if you use their preferred lender, which is Trailblazer Mortgage, you're gonna be able to get 6% in flex cash so what that means is you're gonna be, they're gonna give you 6% of the price of the home in flex cash. Now flex cash, you can use to buy down an interest rate, pay for your closing costs, or you can totally just drop it off the price of the home. So you could drop the price of the home, or you can put it towards the closing costs, or you could buy down your interest rate. Now, just to give you an idea of what 6% of the pr price of the home is, that is gonna be $17,040. So you're gonna get $17,040 for working with the primary lender in this community. So for me, it's a no brainer, um, especially if, if you have a realtor who's very diligent and knows what they're doing. They are always on top of the mortgage lender, making sure your file is doing well, making sure the docs are submitted in time, and making sure you're getting crafty on the deal. If there's anything that a hiccup that do, does come up, it's good to have a realtor that knows what they're doing to make sure you guys get to the closing day and make sure you guys buy the home of your dreams. Now, let's say you guys wanna do an FHA first time down payment. You're typically, you're always getting lower interest rates with the FHA down payment. Right now we're looking around 6.3 to 6.5% in the current market. This is what a down payment looks like on this home. $9,940 to purchase this townhome. Now, you also do have closing costs. With new construction communities, you're looking at four to 5% in closing costs. On resale homes, you're usually looking around two to 3%. That's 12,780. I'm just gonna add, round up and add 10,000 for the down payment. You're at $22,780. Now, remember, you're getting $17,040 back. So it can't go towards the down payment, any of that flex cash, but you could pay off your closing costs and then drop the price of the home, or you can buy down your interest rate. I've seen people get all the way down to 5.25% interest rate currently with buying it down around five to six to $7,000. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is for a first time home buyer program. There are also other programs, conventional 5% down, conventional 3% downs, but let's say you're looking at this from an investor standpoint. What's gonna happen is you can do the minimum 15% down payment for an investment property, 
But as a realtor, if you already have a realtor, make sure you're asking them the right questions. You wanna see, okay, how am I really gonna get the best cash flow for this property? And the way you do that is doing 20% down. The reason being is once you have 20% equity in the property you purchase, on a conventional loan, you don't have to pay private mortgage insurance. And just to give you an idea, private mortgage insurance is gonna be around two to three, sometimes $400 per month, depending on the property. So you're, say, you're really eating into your costs if you are an investor and just putting that minimum 15% down. Obviously, if that's all you got, go for it. But if you have that extra 5%, make sure you do what you can so you can, also, you can be increasing your cap monthly cash flow. Um, and 20% down, just to give you an idea for all the, my investors out there, that's $56,800 for this townhome. The community will pay for your closing costs and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed all of this tour, the information, everything that we have to give. My team and I are always here to help you guys. If you have any questions or looking to move into the Central Florida area, we would love to be your resource here in the area. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for joining in this YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.